Hey guys, Rob's Random Stuff here. Just gonna teach you guys how to cook a really good steak on a super inexpensive grill. This little Weber here, it's like 30 bucks. Came with this fire starter here so you don't have to use lighter fluid, which is always good. Just stuff your charcoal in here. Put a couple paper towels in the bottom. Use newspaper, whatever. Little starter stick here. It's basically just like a big candle. It's like cardboard with some wax in it. Burns for a good five minutes. Let that speed up for a second here. We'll make sure our paper towels in here. Put that in the middle. We we'll need to just let it catch a little bit. Don't want to smother it. Put it down slowly. You can see in there. Got a nice flame going. Gets her started. today it's not the best grilling day so it might take a couple extra minutes to get started it's already smoking so we're good door in the grill right at the beginning of the meat's raw when we put it on I'm gonna use a little just some cherry chips nothing special right off of Amazon super cheap give it a little flavor at the beginning I don't like too much smoke just a little bit I got it sizzling here, and we got a super hot water. Open up the pores of this. Just five or ten minutes is good. You want it to be pretty saturated, so when you put it on the fire, it doesn't just burn. You want it to, to smolder. You don't want a burning wood flavor. You want the flavor of the wood chips to come out. So uh, it should take maybe 15 minutes or so to really get the coals going. So we'll cut away here for a few minutes. So you don't have to watch uh, paint dry pretty much. And uh, come back and we'll see how we're doing in like 15 minutes. All right, these coals are hot. In maybe 15 minutes. It's probably seen there. Ow, very hot. Gonna take this off here. Get our tongs. This grate's gonna be really hot. Dump these in carefully. Put this here for a sec. Spread these out nice. It may not look hot, but literally burning my hands just sitting here. Some real good heat. I don't like to have too much in one spot with like a nice heat. It's really hot actually. Put this back on. We're gonna let that sit for just a minute. Get our steaks on. What we have today, close this up for a second. Get those grates real hot. Just have a New York strip, a couple small fillets, petites, tons of salt, fresh cracked black pepper some garlic powder both sides steaks have been sitting out of the fridge for a good 40 minutes or so got them up to pretty close to room temp it's about 60 degrees out today so
Uh, you don't want to take them right out of the fridge because they will be cold in the middle and burn on the outside. Do not want that. So, these grates should be decently hot at this point. Now the key to success here, we're going to get rid of this water. These are your wood chips. Soaking wet at this point. I'm going to get a handful of these. I just like to scatter them about. This back on. You can see they're already starting to smoke. It smells really good. We're gonna put this guy on first. Put him in the middle because he's the biggest. These guys we're gonna put to the side, a little indirect. Not on the hottest part of the grill. Let's see. We already got some great smoke going. It smells really good. Again, that's just some cheap cherry chips from Amazon. Don't need to go crazy. This is steak smoke budget. So we got the holes open. I'm just gonna smoke that for, give it a good two minutes. We'll get some heat in there, smoke it up. It's going to be delicious and uh, when it's time to flip I will come back flip them over see how they're looking we're gonna let them go get a really good crust on one side so uh, we'll see you in a minute all right it's been about two minutes I don't like to leave them too long you can see you're getting really good smoke I'm just gonna flip these guys I like to Get the smoke hitting both sides. See, it's already looking really good. So I like to keep these covered up while the wood's in there. Because we don't like to let the chips burn too fast because then you don't get the flavor of the cherry. You get the flavor of burning wood, which is no good. So. You don't want that to get too hot in there, so I'm gonna let this cook for another. I'm gonna let that go for five more minutes on there. Then we'll do another flip. We should have a nice crust. See you in a minute. All right, we're back. Smoke has settled down a bit, which is good. We don't want too much on there. We're gonna do a little flip. See, we're rendering down the fat on this New York strip. We're flipping. Looks really good. Do a little test. Probably, uh, we're at a good mid rare at this point, so I'm gonna let that cook for a minute. And we'll give it the final reveal. See you in a minute. Thank you. All right. I'd imagine these steaks are done. It's probably taken a total of 12 minutes at the most. I did mostly lit on today. Usually I don't. This is very windy today. So it was kind of cooling off the steaks. So I decided to leave them on. <whistles> that. Steak. Got our New York strip fat rendered. Wow. If it was up to me, I'd be eating these all myself. So for a $30 grill, you can cook a really good steak. Not saying the fancy stuff doesn't do a good job either. I'm sure it does, but this, really, really good. Guaranteed. 
I got a little Enjoy suggestion for one of my subscribe. favorite subscribers to create a new catchphrase. Bell. So at the end of every one of my videos, videos, it's going to be at least stay random. Thanks, Peace. Peyton.